Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for Wednesday, August 21st, 2019. So this morning, we're getting a little bit of a surprise bump up in the market. We had some earnings results giving us a little positive push here this morning. And you can see the diamonds looking to gap up here this morning on um, good earnings reports out of both Lowe's. Lowe's had a beautiful earnings report gapping very strongly up this morning, as well as Target having a good earnings report this morning and gapping it up uh, significantly this morning. So good earnings results, and that has resulted in the uh, Dow um, and the overall index is looking for a positive open, trying to shake off some of this negativity that we've had here uh, just recently in this really choppy, consolidating, ugly price action that we've seen the last couple of days. The other thing that's going on here this morning is the is the market is really, really hopeful. It's going to pick up a little clarity from the FOMC minutes this afternoon. We'll talk about that in just a second. But let's take a look at what's going on in the overall chart. The things that we have to pay attention to technically in the chart. Well, first off, we still want to make sure that we recognize the fact that overall we are still in a downtrend in this market. That has not changed. And unfortunately, we're still being challenged by price action in the chart, you know, nice resistance levels in the chart challenging us, as well as our moving averages, which um, a 50 day moving average right here, as you can see, flattening out, providing that resistance above. And notice that our shorter term moving averages crossing down really to create that level of resistance in here, this zone of resistance that we still have to get through. This morning's morning pop is not changing that, at least at the moment. We're gapping up, but we're only gapping up about to the high uh, or the open yesterday. So we really haven't changed anything here in the market just yet. Now, if those bulls do take a hold, if we are able to get moving today, um, we need to watch these price levels right through here. If we can break through these price levels here in the Dow and, and then try to challenge that 50 day moving average, um, that would be a great thing to see those, that little bullish action here in the market. However, if those bulls take over, Let's uh, keep in mind it wouldn't be a very big trip right back down here to test these lows and possibly even slip lower. So let's um, just keep a real close eye on the market and try not to uh, chase into this market open because there's a very good chance we end up doing what we've done the last couple of days where we get that gap. Well, we had that big gap here the other day in the market. Let's go to a uh, just a quick 15 minute chart. We had that big gap up in the market and then we literally went nowhere for the whole day. Um, we could see that same kind of price action this morning gap up uh, on this earnings news, but then just really go into consolidation as we wait for the release of the FOMC minutes at 2 p.m. this afternoon. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY. SPY showing us kind of, you know, that possible failure pattern here at the 50-day moving average. Um, that's what we call a blue ice failure here. And certainly very, very choppy price action. And this morning we're getting a nice bump here in uh, that SPY, um, S&P 500 moving up on those good earnings reports this morning, showing signs of strength, gapping up about to yesterday's open, uh, kind of taking back all of yesterday's little slump. But notice we've got that zone of resistance up here. Once again, we've got these resistance levels in the chart that we're dealing with. We're dealing with those moving averages up in here that are providing that resistance. So there's still work to be done. If we can move up and challenge that 50 day moving average, awesome. That'd be great to see. But we also have that possibility that we slip even lower here, uh, depending on how market reacts to 
FOMC, what, what are we going to react to here? And I, it's just the uncertainty in the market that's causing us all this trouble, all of this angst, all of this back and forth, making this month a very, very challenging month for traders. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues um, also yesterday showing that little bit of a failure pattern here right there at the 50 day moving average, slamming into that price resistance. And at this point, unable to just quite pop through there. Now this morning we're showing bullishness here in the market um, on this these good earnings reports and we are gapping higher here on the queues but it's still not fixing that overall situation just yet. It possibly could and like I've said before the queues are actually in more of a bullish situation um, having placed a higher low here in the chart. So the cues could be the index that really leads us out of here as long as we don't fail right at this level. Let's watch, take a look at IWM. Now IWM, you know, what do you say? It's just, it's just not healthy. Um, IWM uh, continuing in its downtrend, not looking uh, very good here overall, noticing that we failed here once again at um, a lower high um, yesterday in that market. Um, but we are gapping up this morning. We're getting a little IWM love this this morning with those earnings reports. Who knows what that means? That possibly could mean that we, we follow through, break back into this resistance zone up here of these moving averages and just tremendous amount of price congestion in here that IWM is going to have to deal with. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX, this doggone thing has been all over the market, all over the place whipping around as you guys know it's been an extremely challenging month with really violent price moves and big overnight gaps that make it about impossible for the swing trader to really hold on to any kind of an edge it's really kind of a day traders market right now so here's that downtrend i've been talking about over and over and over and so far we are still holding this price support in here and price support of the downtrend um we we kicked up just a little tiny bit in fear yesterday this morning's gap should take that away and we might even come back down in here and test this level uh this morning so watch that fear maybe dropping out of the market if we can um maybe challenge and break through some of those um uh, 50 day moving average levels we might see uh, a little bit better uh, price moves um, in the market, a little bit less fear in the market. So let's watch that closely, but also keep in mind, this is exactly the place where we would be watching for that VIX to maybe find some support and bounce off and the reemergence of that fear. So watch it pretty closely. Let's take a look at T2122. Whoops. T2122 the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see yesterday's sell off actually opened a door for us here. Um, we had that two day, just extreme move up where we kind of moved right up here toward that um, uh, bearish reversal zone up here. And yesterday is little light choppy sell off brought us right back down in here toward that 50% area in T2122. So that opens up a nice open door here for this upside move. We're getting this big gap this morning. Um, maybe we can extend this up, but let's keep in mind how quickly we will reach up here into that uh, bearish reversal zone. So there's work here to do yet. Also realize that this also tells us that we have a pretty good sizable opportunity to move down in the market. So um, not no direction here in T2122, just giving us those clues that we could go either direction and um, this morning gap up um, pushing pretty hard this morning could move us right back up here into this um, uh, bearish uh, reversal zone pretty easily. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Now our economic calendar is going to have some, some something to say about how the market reacts this, um, this morning. First off, we have existing home sales at 10 a.m. Now current consensus is suggesting 
those home sales will be positive um, this month. Now, two things can happen with that. If we happen to get a really strong home sales number, that's going to make it really, really difficult for the FOMC to cut rates again. No matter how much the president pu is pushing for a full 100 basis point cut, if, if the economic indicators aren't supplying um, um, good solid indications for them to do that, it's going to make it very, very challenging for them to cut rates. So if we have uh, continuing strength in home sales, that may be difficult for the FOMC to get around. Also keep in mind, we have the EAA Petroleum Status Report today at 10.30 we know that can significantly move around those oil uh, stocks and um, lately it's been creating a lot of pressure on those oil stocks as those supplies continue to grow and um, really struggling um, in some of those oil sectors as those prices continue to fall. And then, of course, the, the big guy of the day here, the FOMC minutes release. Um, I think there's a high probability we gap up this morning um, um, at the open and a high probability that we just kind of die right there, that the market just goes into a really choppy flat consolidation as we wait for these news releases to come out. So be really careful about chasing that morning open. Watch that carefully and just realize anything, anything is possible after the release of the FOMC. If we happen to glean some new clarity from those minutes, we could be hopping and popping really quick if, if the market is disappointed by what they see in those minutes. Um, we could certainly see selling come into play. So let's keep a close eye on that uh, this afternoon and just expect light choppy price action as we head into that announcement. Let's, um, well here, before we do anything else, um, let me ask you for a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when it pops up so you can make sure and be notified every time one of these videos are released. You know, the purpose of these videos is just to help the trader um, do a good quality job, a, a better job of preparation for the day, to think about the things that could affect the market. These videos are in no way, shape or form um, attempting to predict which way the market's going to go, only to point out the things that we should be thinking about and preparing for for our day so that we can do a better job in how we approach the market. So if you find these helpful, if you find this video useful, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It doesn't require uh, a big comment. By the way, please feel free to leave any comment that you want to leave. But um, it, it doesn't require a, a major commitment uh, of a comment. I got to tell you, I am so humbled um, every day by the kind words that people leave behind on these videos. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, also, please feel free to share these videos with any friends and family. Share them on your social media feeds. Um, perfectly acceptable. And that goes for any video on my YouTube channel. So let's take a look at some stocks that, well, looking pretty good and could be setting up for those trades. You guys know that I've been pointing out over and over and over some of these um, defensive sector stocks, stocks like uh, Coca-Cola holding up really well yesterday, found some sellers in there, but overall holding into this trend really good. Hershey, um, Hershey's chocolate holding up very, very well, um, showing strength. Um, overall in the market. And we're seeing that in quite a few of these defensive um, sector stocks like Tyson. Tyson putting in a nice bullish candle yesterday, consolidating after this big breakout here in the chart. Ty Tyson looks higher for me. But I want to uh, remind everyone that every time I show one of these video or charts in, in the video, that there's, um, there's absolutely... Um, no recommendation here to buy or sell any security. This is just uh, the charts, the chart pattern, the things that we want to be watching for in the market, charts that could be setting up and you might want to put on your watch list. So kind of keep that in mind. Another chart I'm really keeping an eye on is this WDC. WDC uh, breaking through this price resistance in here in the chart. 
and so far has been able to hold up here. So any rest, consolidation, pullback that maintains this little trend here, I wanna watch for that buy signal to occur in here. WDC looks like it could be setting up for that long side move. Now, if you're looking for some trades to possibly find some short positions, you don't have to look too far right now. Take a look at Facebook. Facebook um, showing signs of failure. Now this morning, it's getting a little bit of a gap up this morning because of those good earnings reports. But let's keep in mind, Facebook is downtrending here, not looking very healthy overall. Facebook has that potential of that failure again around the 50 day moving average. So you might want to keep an eye on that for that possible um, uh, continued selling in Facebook. Another, um, another one you might want to take a look at is Netflix. Netflix continuing to show this failure along its downtrend line here. Um, rally back to resistance. Um, evening star pattern um, showing here in the chart. Um, kind of suggesting that Netflix could move lower. But once again, keep in mind this pop-up this morning is giving all of these stocks a little bit of lift. You'll have to watch this closely, um, but could be setting up for more downside. And there's quite a few of those stocks like um, Lulu, Lulu rallying back toward resistance here, possibly showing that opportunity to fail here under the 50 day moving average and move on lower. There's just a lot of those charts right now starting to show up as we challenge these um, big resistance levels in the chart. So let's watch that closely. Stocks that are looking pretty good still, um, take a look at shop. I brought up shop to everyone here the other day and uh, pointed it out again yesterday. Shop, what a beautifully trending chart, just moving up nice and clean. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Shop looking uh, very, very good here and showing lots of strength overall. And looks like this wants to continue to move on up. So keep an eye on that. I've been bringing up Starbucks. Starbucks just keeps bouncing around in here. Can't quite seem to get its feet under it to really start moving higher. But let's watch that closely. It's popping up a little bit this morning. It may still have that opportunity uh, to move on up here um, in this trend. Take a look at Procter & Gamble. P&G, another one of those defensive sector stocks has been holding up really well considering the damage that's been done in the market. This is just holding up extremely well. Now we do want to watch this closely because this failure up here could be that little bit of a lower high or double top high in that chart. But as long as we pull back and hold trend, we still have that opportunity to move up. So watch that closely. It's not quite ready for prime time yet, but certainly one to keep an eye on. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And if you're struggling as a trader, just kind of keep in mind that this is a pretty typical August. August, um, historically, have been very, very challenging months for the market. And this is particularly challenging because we're so news driven by political events. So remember, if you're, if you're challenged as a trader, you know, it's okay to back off and not trade so much. It's okay not to fight the market. Let's let the market settle down, calm down, and then come back to the market when you have a better edge. What I want you to, um, what I want to, um, say is don't give up. I know it can be really frustrating in periods like this. You just want to throw up your hands, shut off your computer, walk away, say, I am done trading for the rest of my life. This whole thing is a mess. And while that is true right now, please understand that give it some time. Um, I promise you the market will smooth out, that things will get better and there will be better trading ahead. So Keep your focus, keep your wits about you, and just realize that you don't have to trade every single day to be successful. As a matter of fact, oftentimes less is more. Holding on to your edge in the market, finding those good trade entries, and being a little bit more precise about the trades that you take often makes a world of difference in your trading. So, so back off a little bit when the market is handing you... Um, handing you such a rough price action, just back off a little bit, protect your capital, wait, watch for those good entries and those good trending stocks that are always there in the market. 
With that, everyone, I want to wish you all the best today. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you right back here bright and early, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.